Have you ever been told no so many times that you actually start to believe it? This was my reality and the reality for most of my girl peers when it comes to science, technology, engineering, and math. Often boys would say to me, girls aren't good at math and science. Robotics isn't a girl thing. Why are you here? You must be lost. Boys would automatically render me helpless and always try to do all the work themselves instead of letting me in and proving my worth. These stereotypical views are often a common reason why girls don't gravitate towards STEMs. Girls, we have to run through the gauntlet of boys thinking that we cannot excel in STEMs as high as they can. But ask a boy if we can excel in English and fine arts and they don't blink an eye. Why is that? Prior to entering second grade, I spent the entire summer in Upper Peninsula, Michigan with my grandpa, who's a physicist. My parents um, mailed a robotics kit with the intention of us working on it together. My passion for math and science grew even stronger. This was the click. This, uh, this thing made me see that there was more. There was more in life than just playing the violin, dancing, and speaking Mandarin. When I was in second grade, my parents signed me up for IMAX, a math and computer science programming class. Many of my peers that I told didn't understand why a girl would be, have, would be taking a STEM-related class after school and loving it. I remember my first day, walking in, sitting down, looking around, realizing that I was the only girl and the youngest person in the class. I momentarily felt like an outsider, but that momentarily thing made, me, made my competitiveness nature kick in. I wanted to prove the stereotype wrong, and I wanted to break down, those, break down the boys and say that I, I could be the best. I've, that was second grade. I'm a freshman now. I've been in those classes ever since, and I'm one level away of being in a collegiate level. This opportunity has made me see the, appreciate the value and principle of math and computer science. The problem with many of us girls is we do, not, we do not have the opportunity to have the STEM experience. We do not get, never get to see the glimpse of what the future can hold. We never have the opportunity to have the connection. Listen, girls, be bold and take your first step into STEMs. There are many times in our life about the importance of being first. The first to graduate from college, the first to serve in the military, the first freshman to be talking at TEDx. Many times we look at life and we realize our future is of tomorrow are destined from the leaders who take the first step today. For all the girls who love math and science, hi, I'm Bobby Joseph Pelsa, and I'm the first. If I can do it, so can you. Last year, I was the first. I started the underwater robotics program at North Broward. Not only did I start the program, I also started the first uh, all girls underwater middle school robotics team called H2O Bots. I gathered some of, some of my closest girl peers and we, that shared the same love in math and science for me, and we built a team. During the process, we learned how to solder, build the frame out of PVC, and made a control box that carried two cameras and four motors. But most importantly, we learned to work as a team. During the, during the competition, we placed third overall, and we had the highest demonstration score in the water. We were an all-girls middle school team competing against all-boy high school teams. We broke down the stereotype and proved that we could do it. Many times in our lives, there is the opportunity for us to take the step into something new. If you're too afraid to say yes, to take the chance, you might miss it. Don't say don't be afraid to say yes to something that relates to science, technology, engineering, and math, as I guarantee it will take you places that you can only imagine. I'm excited to see a future where girls are in STEM-related jobs. I hope you are too. Thank you.